think I see my baby in here. My baby in here. My baby's in here. Hi. Yeah. What's yuck? Uh. Oh, did you wet your pants? Did you wet your pants? It's okay. We'll get it taken care of, okay? You want to go downstairs? Uh -huh. All right. Can you say hi? Hi. Oh, hi. No, hi? Uh -huh. Okay. Can you blow me a kiss? Uh. One kiss? Thank you. Hi. Hi. So you do want to eat? Uh-uh. No? You do? No? You do want to eat? Uh-huh. Yes? Uh-huh. 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 Yes. Uh-huh. No? Uh-huh. Yes? Uh-huh. You do? Uh-huh. Okay. Are you sure? Really? Uh-huh. Yeah? Uh-huh. Can you come give me a kiss? Uh-huh. It's early. I don't know why. It feels so early this morning. But it's really not. It's like, it's like 8.30ish. So, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's cold. It's chilly. But it's Sunday. It's my Friday, which is nice. So, I'm really excited. Um, so. It's been a good morning. Um, Alex slept through the whole night, which was great. I was getting really worried about him. I went on and went in and checked on him a couple times, um, but he seemed to be doing okay. Um, he woke up this morning, as you saw, and he he was hydrated. He kind of didn't have that crackle in his voice, so he he did pretty good. So I'm happy that he's uh, holding up pretty well. But I'm just on my way to work right now, and then when I get off. It's Dollywood time tomorrow, maybe, maybe. I don't want to. I don't want to push Kay to go somewhere if she wants to just relax at home, or if she has some stuff that she needs to do and stuff. So we will figure it out. But I'm hoping today is a relaxing, calm day at work. Nothing too crazy, nothing out of the blue. But it'd be nice just to have some some time with her, which will be good. Which will be good. I sent her a text message last night, just just talking to her and stuff. Um, I know these last couple months, I've been just I've been just so focused on work, everything that's going on, and I just I've let so many little things just get to me and kind of like erode me and stuff. And um, I just haven't been as supportive and caring and loving and just you know I haven't listened to her as much. It made her feel validated as much. So um, I sent her this me I sent her a message last night before I went to bed. Just you know, basically saying that, you know, I am sorry. You know, I see it and, you know, I don't want her to ever feel that I'm not listening. I'm not caring. I don't want her to feel like I'm not paying attention to her and stuff because she's my world. She means everything to me. She really is. I would, I would probably be able to be where I'm at, but it would have been a lot harder and it would have took me a lot longer because I wouldn't have had her supporting me and having my back. Um, and helping me through the moments where I wouldn't have had anybody. So, um, she's very special and I'm very thankful to have her and stuff. So, I need to make sure that I remember that every day and know that, you know, I'm a lucky, I'm a lucky duck. So, so for you, honey, I love you. But I'm practically at work right now. I'm gonna let you all go. I know you're so sad. I know you love hearing me talk. <gasps> Uh, who am I kidding? Um, <laughs> but everybody have a great Sunday. Truly, honestly. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the time with family if you're off. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow, okay? Alright, bye. Good morning, you guys. So, I just put tea, or, yeah, I put tea down for a nap. Nope, I didn't. I put A down for a nap. And, um, now I'm just kind of surveying. It is my day off, so we're just kind of trying to figure out what I need to do today. I need to start baking, um, and then I also need to organize some stuff around here, and then I need to wrap some presents because we have two presents that have come within the past couple of days, and what's really fun is, okay, so this is one of them. It's the National Audubon Society, and it's the Field Guide to North American Mammals, and this is for Alec. I think he is going to love it because he is so into my mom's book like this and it has bugs in it. So like what kid wouldn't like to see pictures of cheetahs and stuff? I guess that's an ocelot. But um, 
So anyway, I have to wrap that. And then I also have somewhere, oh, I have another book of his that came, a book of Alex that came. And then, let's see. Oh, okay. So I have never been that kid. I was never that kid growing up that like found her presents and searched for them and then like looked through them and saw what came for me or like figured out what was I was getting for Christmas or my birthday or whatever. One time, I think I remember my mom saying I found my Christmas presents in one of the closets um, at our house and I was so distraught and so sad that I had found my presents that I told my mom that I had found them and I made her hide them somewhere else. So, like I wasn't that kid that like went out searching for presents, you know? But this is ridiculous. I think T is really starting to test that because that's one of my presents. It's not wrapped. It's just chilling there and he doesn't know how to wrap it. So he told me, he asked me to wrap it and I said, no, I wouldn't wrap my own presents. I swear I draw the line because I am a strong-willed person. However, I have a feeling if I was to wrap my own present, something would accidentally happen and I would see inside the box and it would just be terrible. So I don't trust myself enough to be able to do that. Um, so I told him no, that I wouldn't do it. Um, so I guess it's just going to sit there for a while. I may just end up wrapping it because I don't want to look at it. And not that I'm not excited. That's actually why I don't want to look at it is because I am so excited to see what's inside there. It's from one of my favorite stores. It's from Urban Outfitters. I love Urban Outfitters. And so I just want to see what's inside. But I guess I only have about two weeks left. So I'll find out soon enough what it is. Um, what else? Ooh, I think I found another one under here too. Is this for me? Oh, I like little boxes. Um, so what was I gonna say? Um, yeah. So he's asleep. I'm gonna go edit, and we were going to go to Dollywood tomorrow because T's off, and then I just work at night. But um, Dollywood's closed, so and they don't open again. They're, they're not open again any other day before Christmas Eve that he has off, so um, I may make a special trip with Nicole. I may see if Nicole... So, Nicole, if you're watching this, you want to go to Dollywood? <laughs> I know you watch the vlogs. Um, yeah, I may see if they want to go sometime before then, because I want to take full advantage of the lights, and I really want to see all that again, so... Um, Yep, but anyway, it was a fun thing getting off of work at 1 o'clock this morning instead of 5.30. It was actually very nice, so um, it was a nice change. I feel almost rested and, um, and ready for the day, so that's kind of fun. Okay. Also, you guys, um, I don't know if you've checked them out yet, but uh, the Piano Guys have a new video. They have a couple new vi videos, but they have one of them up. Um, from when they did the huge nativity scene that was like the record-breaking nativity and they play music and David Archuleta's in it, Shaytards are in it, um, a couple of other really, really great people. And um, so I'll have a link down below in the description. I really recommend you go check them out. It's just incredible what these guys can do. I love all of the Piano Guy stuff. I just think it's fantastic and it makes me, it puts me in the mood to play my bass. So I think that's what we're going to do when Alec wakes up. Um, so feel free to go over to their channel, check them out if you haven't already seen them or heard of them or whatever, but definitely take a look at that video. Um, it is just incredible. It's, it's a really cool thing. It doesn't really matter what you believe in or if you do the whole Christmas thing. Um, they are just, it's an incredible talent and, um, and just the enormity of what they did will definitely, it'll, it'll make you appreciate what they did. As soon as I pick up the camera, I yawn. I don't understand that, but. Alec is still upstairs napping. It's about 1 o'clock, so he should be up pretty soon. I was thinking he'd be up sooner, but I guess he was really sleepy. So, um, I am watching some vlogs. I have sent out some emails to people, and that's something I want to talk about. It's going to be a big 
vlog of just me talking basically today so I'm really sorry about that but so oh I think I hear him either that or it's the neighbors um okay so I tweeted something out earlier that YouTube is the oddest thing I've ever done and it's true so I just sent out emails to some of my some of the youtubers who seem to be um, filming about the same thing so like daily vloggers moms things like that and um, of course ones with not like shaytards youtubers where it's like they have millions of subscribers and they will never email me back but people who actually seem to like know who their subscribers are respond to their comments things like that you know people who I've commented on as well and have gotten replies back just people who I kind of know rec would recognize the name if they saw my name maybe I don't know and um, I'm trying to do a collaboration with people well I'm at this point with my YouTubing where I feel like that's kind of the next step that like I should reach out to people and kind of network I guess is what you could call it and um for no other reason than well a lot of reasons for one thing I feel like I've done a lot that I can do by myself right now but I kind of want to start doing things with other people and I want to make friends like I want to make YouTube friends so um because I see people like Randy and Anna doing hangouts and um, like a lot of people do hangouts and then they go and they see each other and it's just like, I don't know, I think that would be really fun to make friends with people, you know? So, um, so I was sending out these emails and I'm like, Hey, so I'm a new YouTuber and then you just draw a blank. Like I have no idea what to say after that other than please let me be on your channel, you know, please be my friend. And I feel so weird about it. It's just the oddest thing, but I know I should do it because it'll be good for the channel and it'll be good for me. I'd love to meet these people and talk to these people. And I think that would be really fun, but I'm just like, Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, you know, that feeling when you were like a freshman in high school and you had to talk to a senior and, or a teacher or somebody older than you. And you just felt really intimidated instantly. Like you started talking and you got up your courage and you go up to him and you start to talk and it's like, never mind, I'll see you later. Bye. Yeah. That's kind of how I felt. It was like, okay, I'm going to email these people and it's going to be great. And it's just email. It's not even like a phone call or a, you know, FaceTime or anything like that. But I, um, I started the email and then all of a sudden it was like, oh gosh, I shouldn't do this. Maybe this is a bad thing to do. I maybe, maybe I made a mistake. I shouldn't do this. So I just sent them out quickly. And of course I read over them and made sure there were no typos. And you know, I was said what I wanted to say, but still it was like, okay, thanks so much. Bye. And just send it off. So we'll see if I hear back from anybody. If I don't, that's fine. It was just kind of a shot in the dark anyway to see if anybody would be interested Okay, I'll give you one hint to what we're doing right now. It has something to do with this. What do you think? Do this. You having fun with Mama's base? Mm. Yeah, we were playing the base, huh? Really? Yeah, you played it too. You found the F holes, you found the bridge, you found the strings. And you played with the bow a little bit. With the other bow. Not with Mama's bow. Mama's a little weird about her bow. Baby? Yeah. Baby? Oh, baby? You want to play with it again? Okay. Okay. What are you doing? Oh, Mama! Oh, Alec! Oh, Mama! Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye! Bye-bye!